be the most daring archaeologist of all if this belongs in a museum. Hey, it's Grant and Mike from Rather Dashing Games. Are you ready for adventure and excitement in the golden era of archaeology? Well, join us as we teach you how to play This Belongs in a Museum. First, each player is going to pick an archaeologist. And when you do that, you get your home base, you pick your archaeologist, your mummy, and your stack of eight artifacts. You then take all of your stuff for your chosen archaeologist, and you would then lay out the tomb tile. Take five of your eight artifacts at random. Now, normally you'd keep them secret from your opponent, but I'm going to show them all right now. These are the five artifacts that you can score extra points in collecting during the game. You then take three tiles, add that to your base camp, and then place your mummy on the tomb tile. This Belongs in Museum is different from the other drawn and quartered games. Unlike them, where you're trying to create the highest scoring section, you want to create smaller dig sites that are connected with mountains and oceans and airports because the mummy will come out later and start robbing points. So the bigger your section is, the more point he's going to take. Like you said earlier, each player has a dig site. When you play your dig site tile, your archaeologist comes out as well. Now your archaeologist can move three spaces uh, each turn. Mountains and seas are considered one space. So I can move my three spaces one, two, three, and I land on this artifact. That artifact happens to be one of the five that I need to get. This will allow me to have a bonus at the end of the game. Now, as Grant said, you are trying to create a bunch of small sections uh, connected back to your base camp. These sections can be connected back to your base camp either by mountains or by oceans or directly or by airports. So this connects to the airport, which connects back to my airport. Instead of using the rotate, swap, and replace icons as they're traditionally used, you can use them instead to move your mummy. If I play a tile that has one of these icons on it, I can take my mummy and I can move it to any scoring section of my opponents that does not have another mummy or another archaeologist in it. So I could put him right there. So now these points that would normally go to Grant, go to me. Ah. Let's look a little closer at how dig sites connect to your base camp. This is my base camp, so anything red will give me points. These two are connected to my base camp because they're right next to it. Anything that's connected via oceans and mountain is also connected. So this section here is connected to my base camp. This one normally wouldn't be connected, but because it's touching an airport, that lets it connect back to my base camp. Anything touching an airport is essentially connected to all other base camps. This one is not connected at all. I cannot draw a line back to my base camp via mountains, oceans, or airports. So that's how things are connected back to someone's base camp. Play continues around the table until the last tile is drawn. That would signify the last round of play. After that, you score it up. A player gets one point for each temple on a dig site connected back to their base camp. They get three points for any artifact connected back to their base camp. They also score points where their mummy is, but they would lose points if their opponent's mummies are on any of their dig sites. So let's see what I've got. I have one, two, I don't get those, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, my mummy, 13, 14. I also get three points for each artifact that my archeologist was able to claim in the course of the game. So this would be an additional six points, which would take me up to 20. Well, that's really good, Mike. Thanks. Yeah, I got 27 points. Uh, of course you did. So clearly, I'll get all the notoriety as my artifacts will be in a museum where they belong. Yeah, I'm getting used to this by now. <laughs> anyway, that's This Belongs in the Museum from Rather Dashing Games. Check it out. Hope you like it. <laughs> Rather Dashing Games. Well played.